Hi everybody, PJ here and today I'm back in Egypt and I'm at a place called Dream Beach. Now this place is fantastic. Couple of ups, couple of downs. Uh, for the two of us to come in it's cost 500 Egyptian pounds which is less than a five and you spend all day here. Uh, they run around fetching you beer and water and food and everything else, so that's fantastic. The only thing is you can't fetch your own food and water and you have to buy it here. So if you've got water or coke or drinks or anything like that, they keep it behind the bar and then when you leave they give it back to you. So you can't fetch your own stuff. But the prices here are pretty cheap anyway. They've got everything from steak to ice creams and all the lot. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of the sea and what it's like around here so you can have a look. And you can make your own mind up whether you want to come and visit. But I'll tell you something, I absolutely love it here. And Mrs. PJ nags at me if we don't get down here early enough. And we were late today. So I'm in trouble again. Okay, so behind me we have the beautiful Red Sea. Now the Red Sea has a couple of problems. First of all, the sharks. <laughs> and I don't like sharks. And secondly, these sharks have massive big teeth. But I've worked a way around it. So I'm still on the beach at the minute, I'm safe, you know. Sharks can't come and get me. You go in the sea and it's like a warm bath, it's beautiful. So it's really salty and you can float on your back, it's absolutely brilliant. So you can just lay on your back in the sea. Now what I do to make sure that I'm safe from the, from the sharks is when I get in the water, if you look out there, you can see there's people in the water. So. I make sure, when I go in, there's people further out at sea than me. And then, if anything happens, the shark's not going to attack me, it's going to attack those that are in the deeper water, hopefully, fingers crossed. So if I'm swimming and I see a leg float past, or, you know, somebody screaming <laughs> loudly, and a lot of splashing and everything, I do what I've been told when there's a shark about. And that's get the fuck out of the water as fast as you can. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and have a dip now. And hopefully I'll come back with all my limbs and not lost any blood or anything like that. So I'll see you on the other side when I get out of the sea. So that's it. Been for a dip in the sea. Still got all my limbs. <laughs> and now I'm going to lay in the sun for a bit. And uh, try and relax. The only problem is you get one or two flies knocking about and they really get on your nerves. So uh, we'll see how we get on with the flies. <laughs> Other than that, see you in a bit. It's uh, sunbathing time. Okay, so we've done at the beach. <laughs> um, we weren't there about, we were there about three hours I would say. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go home and have a shower and sit on the balcony now and continue with the sun. Now as you can probably tell I'm in a car and I'm driving. I've hired a car while I'm here. Uh, it's a Chinese car. I'll talk a bit about this car later. <laughs> uh, don't buy a Chinese car let me tell you that. No it's all right. Uh, it was very cheap. It was like £300 for a month. So uh, you can't complain. It's just driving here. There's no, there's no rules. It's like uh, a dodgem circuit. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go and put some petrol in now, or benzene as it is here, and uh, I'll uh, I'll let you see how they do it. I need to find out how to open the filler cap first. <laughs> right, let's crack on. <laughs> As you can see, the scenery is absolutely beautiful down here. Uh, in the distance, you can see the mountains. When we came last time, went to my friend's wedding. Went through the mountains and the desert and over the top of the River Nile. And it was absolutely stunning. You see a lot of police parked at the side of the road like those there. Well, park, sat at the side of the road. And they seem to sit there all day. What they're doing, I have no idea. But it must be a boring job. I think the traffic police, to be fair. And you can see in the distance, there's a, a mosque. And that's quite close to our apartment. Now, 
Now these minibuses are an absolute nightmare. They're all over the road, literally. They were driving in a straight line and all of a sudden they swap lanes. There you go, look. Trying to get past there and an extra shilling. Absolute nightmare they are. Here's the mosque, and if Sarah just spins the camera around a little bit, you'll see it in the bill path. Now Friday morning is prayer morning. Now, all down this road there's cars parked and everybody's in there doing the praying and everything. And uh, it's bedlam. Now we'll come up this road and in a minute we do a U-turn. That's always good fun on these roads. Half the time they don't wait for a gap. Look at that. 60 kilometers an hour on here. I'm doing 70 and they overtook this light and stood still. <laughs> Now we've got some more police here on the side of the road. They always seem to be here, 24-7. What they're doing, I don't know. But I think it's traffic police. Helmets, weapons, body armour. And at the moment, it's the 5th of November and it's uh, like 30 degrees. So here we are, safely back at the apartment. Time for a shower and then uh, go and sit on the balcony for half an hour uh, before the sun disappears altogether and then uh, we're off into town for something to eat so uh, hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give a thumbs up please share please subscribe and i'll see you there in the next one be a bit more about youtube while i'm here see you soon